Hey, everybody, I'm Danny Frank, otherwise known as the Pearland Real Estate Expert. Today, we're going to go a little bit different in a little bit different direction than I normally go to talking about what's going on in the real estate community and the market and all that kind of stuff and talk to you about some buyer and seller programs that are going on that I brought in my real estate professional who does all of my mortgage loans. That'd be Jennifer Rader with AMCAP Mortgage. Say hello to everybody, Jennifer. Hey, everyone. How are you today? Good. So uh, if, if somebody needs to talk to you, what's the best way to communicate with you? What's your cell phone number and your contact info? Sure. Cell phone is 281-224-2976. And it's all up here as well. Hopefully you can see it on the video. And then, sure. of course, Jay Rader at myamcap.com. Good. So a couple of programs that you and I have been talking about that's uh, really helping some sellers uh, market their house differently in, in um you know, that program seems to be really catching on and, and doing quite well here in the Houston area. And that's the known, I think, is the 100% program. Can you go into some details about that? Sure can. So we have a special program, which is 100% financing. I mean, the buyer does not have to put a down payment if they choose not to. And what it is, is it's a, it's a conventional loan. And it's specific to certain areas where we're trying to boost homeownership. So as long as the property qualifies and the buyer qualifies for a conventional loan, then they can possibly use this program. And the benefits of it are it's no down payment. There's no PMI. There are no income caps, which a lot of programs have, like especially down payment programs. They have income limits you can't go past. This right. does not have that. Um, and it's a fixed, it's fixed rate, just like any other loan. So it's a great product and it's helping sellers market their property because now they can offer 100% financing to a buyer for their house versus maybe one, you know, a couple blocks away that doesn't have this option. Right. I know that you did a, a deal with one of my agents here in the Friendswood office uh, in Alvin. And I think your, your, your partner, Lindsay, did that deal with uh, Denise. So that seemed to be uh, the, the traffic went on up on it almost immediately. So guys out there, sellers, if you're looking at this and you're not working uh, with a realtor, I would encourage you to contact a JLA agent and ask them about the AMCAP 100% program. I'm going to pull up a flyer here and um, talk about this a little bit. So, um, all right. So, so Jennifer, tell me, this, this is the flyer that we put together for the no down payment. Hey, wait a minute. Time out. I have a favor to ask of you. That's why I'm breaking into this video. Could you please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to be reminded when all my videos come out? I'd greatly appreciate it and consider it a personal favor. Now, back to the original program. See ya. Um, can you talk a little bit about this? And, and let's go into some really deep details and deep dive into this and what it means for a realtor coming in using this program, how, how they can benefit using you and AMCAP Mortgage on, on shooting a video, doing some extra marketing, and then talk about maybe how the seller can really benefit on getting their house sold faster using a program like this. Perfect. Yep, definitely can. So for the realtor, um, it's a huge benefit to their marketing because it's something that some, everyone else doesn't have, right? It's not just a, a home that's listed on HAR. It's not just a home that's got a, a sale a, a for sale sign in front of it. We can actually put 100% signs in the yard. So number one, people driving by can see it. Number two, we can do all the flyers for them. We can show them a mortgage flyer, which shows two or three or even four scenarios of the mortgages for that particular home. And one of those can be 100%. So wow. some people coming to an open house or, to, you know, having it in there for their listing, they have the flyers out there. So people will see that they have these additional products available for that particular home. Right. So this is a great benefit. And, and this is different from the, I guess, the USDA program that's out there. So there's a yes. lot of different parameters. And um, I know there's there's some really hard scenarios on the USDA stuff versus what this program and I, 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 this is a, is this an AMCAP based loan? Where is this loan loan originating from? It is a loan that we broker through a bank that is only offering it through AMCAP. Ooh. So we don't we under well we don't underwrite it, but we process everything and we are still the contact person throughout it. But it actually gets you know put with a, the actual bank for when they actually uh, close on the loan. So Jennifer, tell me. You know, loan programs like this are not everybody offers. And, you know, you've been my loan officer, what, since 2007, probably? Oh, five, actually, probably. Oh, five, five? Yeah, so yeah. it's been a while. So 
you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell everybody out there watching this, all the JLA agents and all the other realtors in the in the Houston area or Texas market for that ma matter, you know, get with a loan officer who you trust, get with one you know, um, take recommendations from me, call Jennifer and Lindsay, and you'd be surprised what a great loan officer can do for your business. And um, just knowing that, that you have a, a confident person on the other end of the deal to get the deal done, because... Guys, everyone knows that nine times out of 10, when a deal falls through, it's because the mortgage blew up, right. you know, and, and um, you know, I was talking to some agents this morning here and one of the things we were discussing um, was kind of funny after, after our, our meeting with John this morning uh, was food balls with, with mortgages. And, you know, one of my thing is don't go finance gallery furniture two days before you move in. <laughs> right. I mean, it, uh, it can destroy your, your loan chances. So I was guys, having the same conversation yesterday. Yeah. Say that again. I was having the same conversation yesterday with a, with a set of agents, actually the same thing. One of them actually used to work at a furniture store and he said he would have people come in all the time and say, Hey, I want to buy furniture for my new home. And he's like, wait, 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 no, nope, no, nope, you don't want to do that. <laughs> and it's crazy. Guy. You know, it, it I'm, I tell everybody don't buy anything over $5. Mm -hmm. You know, just don't do it. It, it will, it, it, it can, you know, there's a whole bunch of don'ts you shouldn't be doing. Don't talk about your new home before you close on, on Facebook, you know, cause who knows what's going to happen. There could be all kinds of things and just, just be careful about what you're doing. So that, that's, that's a great thing. Now I'm going to move to another program. So hold on a second. We're going to switch around some stuff. Here we go. All right, Jennifer. So here I've pulled up this screen now. It's called a two-one buy down. New house, new stuff. Talk to me about this program. What's going on with it? Okay. This one we're going to take in a couple pieces because this one's a bit more complicated for a lot of people to understand, but it's actually a very simple concept. So what it is, it's and we have, also have a three-two-one buy down and a one-one buy down as well. So there's actually three different levels of it, depending okay. on what the person wants. And what it is, is basically the seller is supplementing the mortgage payment the first couple of years of the loan for the buyer. And those funds get put into an escrow account that are held and used every month when that payment is, is made by the buyer. Then they pull the money out from the seller to make the full payment. And the, the kind of the crux of what it is, is the first year, you're, depending on which one you select. So let's just say you're picking the two one buy down. The first year, your interest rate and your monthly payment are based off of an interest rate 2% less than what you're locked in at and what you close at. Wow. So in this example, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, that's that's phenomenal information. Okay. So if you, so if let's just, and these are just random numbers, this, right? This is not what rates are, but this is just random yeah. numbers. So if someone were to lock in at seven and a quarter, the first year, their loan would be based off of five and a quarter. So their payment would be 2208 versus 2728. Wow. The second year, it would be based off of six and a quarter. So 1% less than what they've locked in at. So their payment would be 2462 versus 2728. So those first two years, they kind of get to ease into the payment, which is really nice for first time home buyers, especially because they're, you know, they're not used to large payments. They're not used to having a mortgage. They're used to just being rent. Um, so it's real nice for them to kind of ease into the payment. And then um, the third year, it goes to what the rate was, you know, what the rate was locked in at and the normal payment. And at that time, can they refinance if they if the rates have dropped? Yes. And the, the even better benefit is that you can actually refinance at any time. There is no limit. Just because you do the buy down does not mean or lock you into this for the first one, two or three years. So if after a year rates go down and they want to refinance, they can. And what happens is the money that they haven't used for those extra couple of years gets reimbursed to them towards their principal balance. So the buyer doesn't lose that money. They get to use it to reduce how much they're going to borrow. So this, this is in reality a seller concession. It is. And it's just a very specific, a very specific seller concession. Yes. And you yes. guys have verbiage that we put into special provisions on the one to four family contract that, that yes. really help the agent, the mortgage professional and the title company make this all happen. That is correct. It has to be written in a very specific way and to the penny. So once we know what the numbers are, we will come to you as the agent and say, okay, this is what they're doing. This is how much it costs. This is the exact figure to put in special provisions. Yes, sir. You got it. So digging deeper into this, um, like 
Typically, on a seller concession in paragraph 12 on the Texas one to four family contract, we put a, up, up to on, on a conventional loan up to 6%. So do you all put the seller concessions into that or does it go into a different area? How, how is that all worked into the one to four family contract? On the one to four family, we actually do not put it in the closing cost concession area. We will okay. only put it in special provisions and only put the exact amount for the buy down. Now, okay. the other beautiful thing is that they can still get other concessions if they want to that are not related to the rate specific buy down. So if they're getting maybe an additional $2,000 for something else or, you know, title policy or something, those can be addressed in those other sections. But the buy down specific one will be all by itself in the special provision area. Okay, so let, let's let's look at this. I want to kind of go granular on this and kind of get deep. So on this $400,000 loan here that we're looking at, five and a quarter uh, percent interest, you know, these are just make-believe numbers, sales price 500,000, 20% down payment, 220881 would be the payment. What would that end up costing the seller to, to be able to do this buy-down in this, in this scenario? Hey, so Jennifer, talk to me a little bit about um, what the cost or concession, I like that word concession, the seller is going to have to make on a, on a scenario like this on a $500,000 sales price, the $400,000 loan amount. Under, under this scenario, what type of seller concession are we looking at here? In this particular scenario with these numbers, it's probably about a $9,400 uh, concession from the seller that okay. they would do at closing on the contract. Okay. So, all right. So we're coming back together here. So talk about that a little bit more. So that's a $9,400 concession back to the seller. How, how does that affect the appraisal or does it? It actually doesn't affect the appraisal because the sales price is the sales price, right? It's still a $500,000 sales price. The loan amount is really kind of immaterial on the contract. And so when we do the appraisal, it's they, of course, they see the concession just like they would do on any regular contract with a concession. So the appraiser will see that, but it doesn't affect it in any way. Wow. That's pretty good. So the seller still gets to sell the house um we're we're facilitating uh that the house will appraise at that with that number we're anticipating that right. and then we come in and have um d d so i'm gonna, I'm gonna go sideways here and forgive me for not kind of prepping this question but do y'all do this after the appraisal has already come in you know what those numbers are or do no. you do it at the beginning no. of the contract we do it at the beginning of the contract. Yeah. Okay. And we prefer it to be at the beginning. You can always change it, you know, so that the numbers right. did come in differently or something, we can always adjust it. But we do okay. want to go into the contract with the seller concession because it is important for the appraiser to know that there's a concession. So we always want to have it done at the beginning. Okay, great. So this there's two programs here, guys, that the realtors and sellers alike have have the way to really facilitate helping sell in their house. You know, right now our inventory levels are kind of going up and I anticipate those are going to start dropping here at the end of February, 1st of March. In days on market, we'll start to, to calm back down a little bit. We've gotten up to, you know, um, two and three, four months of inventory in some areas and uh, days on market for all of HR is running almost 60 days in January. So I anticipate those start to fall. But with programs like this, realtors, you you have a way to talk to your, your sellers to show them different ways that you can do something different than anybody else can. And partner up with AMCAP Mortgage and with, with Jennifer Rader. And I, I assure you, she will take care of you. They have a, a great Staff and a great team put together. Uh, they cover, you know, the, I'll say the whole Gulf Coast from Baytown, Beaumont down to, I've seen y'all do deals in Corpus Christi and Austin. So, yep. um, you know, they're, they're, they're all over and they have a large team and a large staff that can facilitate those deals for you guys. So if you're looking for a way to come in and really facilitate helping your seller come up with creative ways to sell their house, why wouldn't you offer this to them, right? Exactly. This, this is an opportunity for, for you to be the shining star, be the listing agent that's different from everybody else. So um, guys, AMCAP Mortgage is a rock star mortgage company. They, they just do things right. And, you know, for Jennifer to earn my business for the last, what, 18 years, um, you know, it, it's, 
it, it doesn't go lightly. I, I promise you that uh, that that's how, how long have you done business with your plumber? You know, so <laughs> <laughs> there's just things that uh, that I trust Jennifer to do, and, and she does them phenomenally. And you know, Jennifer has an MBA in finance. I'm, I'm going to say, how many other loan officers do you know that have an MBA in finance? I'm going to say not many. <laughs> so you know, use that expertise, use that ability for you guys to come in and tr trust somebody else to do their job professionally. And I, I can't give enough kind words to Jennifer and MCAT Mortgage about all the stuff they've helped me do over the years and helping my clients do the, all the right things. And, you know, AMCAP's not going to have the answers for everything. Is that right, Jennifer? That's right. But, but one thing I can tell you is if they can't do the loan, they will find somebody that can. And that's one of the the, the craziest things out there because not every mortgage company can do every type of loan. Right. But with that said, AMCAP is set up with a bunch of different partners across the way, you know, for raw land sales. They don't do those too much. You go to a bank, but you have partners that do that stuff. So there's, there's lots of different ways for you as a realtor or a seller or a buyer of a piece of property to come in and, and to use a partner like mine and Jennifer Rader and AMCAP Mortgage to come in and really facilitate a, a strong success story at the end when you get to close on your property. So guys, I, I can't tell you enough how much I I uh, would love for you to reach out to my business partner, Jennifer Rader, to really help yourself facilitate the closing of your next property here in the greater Gulf Coast Houston area. So anything else, Jennifer, you want to talk about? Uh, what I was really the last thing I want, really wanted to say was that we look at this as a partnership, regardless whether we can do the loan or not do the loan. We still want to help you sell that house and we still want to help your buyer buy the house. So right. you know, just because we can't do it doesn't mean we're not going to try to find a way that you can get it done. And that's, right. that's our philosophy. We want to help everybody get to the goal that they have. And whether it's us or not, we still want to help you do it. So and thank right. you for the kind words. You're welcome. You know, trusted partners are trusted partners. Tell everybody again um, how to get hold of you and what they need to do if they just want to go fill out a loan app with you. Perfect. Yep. So behind me, hopefully, I don't know if you can see it. It might be kind of small on the screen, but it is 281-224-2976 is my number. And then jrader at myamcap.com is my email. And then we also have, I have a digital business card we can send out to someone. We have an online app that they can do. So we can do everything digitally if they want to. Or if they want to come in, like I had someone come in the other day, it was so nice to see someone in person. <laughs> um, but if they want to come in, we have that ability as well. Good. I'll put all of her links in the description below so you guys can uh, have that. I'll get that all set up uh, when we get this video published. And so those links will be there, her phone number, contact information and everything else. So again, Jennifer, I just can't thank you enough for being my trusted professional and uh, you guys at AMCAP Mortgage are just the ultimate professionals, and I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much, Danny. You're welcome. Guys, if there's anything I can help you with in the real estate market anywhere in the Texas area, I'm licensed in the state of Texas. I've been serving Texans in real estate since 2004, and it would be my honor and pleasure to serve you in helping you buy or sell your next piece of real estate. Again, I'm Danny Frank, the Pearland Real Estate Expert, coming to you live today from Friendswood, Texas. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.